Hey YouTube, coming at you with another Great League Remix submitted video uh, from Tiny Baby Fishy, and they say um, mostly that anything I asked if you have anything specific to say about to me or the team, and they say mostly that I hope you had fun in New York, and please don't judge me too harshly for my terribly scuffed gameplay. No promises. So thanks for the submission. Uh, it says he goes by Chris. So um, the team is Gligar, Registeel, and Frostlass. And when you guys submit teams, I often look at the teams, okay, one, I don't want to like repeat stuff that people do. And then two, I look at Pokemon. And I sometimes I look at team comps, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just look at Pokemon. And Frostlass is one of those, like, that's the Pokemon I want to look at in this one. Because whenever there is a limited cup, there's always th two or three Pokemon that jump to the top. So Vigoroth is one in any limited cup. Vigoroth always dominates. And Vigoroth is banned. Another one that has been a go-to safe swap and dominant Pokemon for years and years and years is Frostlass. And I haven't seen it yet in the open, but again, I haven't really looked at it at the open yet. So I want to see it in action. So the team itself, um, you know, you have a bit of everything. Like Registeel is going to be weak to ground. You have a flyer there. Gligar is going to be weak to ice. You have an ice and steel. Um, you are double weak to fire. I don't know how much fire there's going to be, but Registeel, Frostlass, double weak to fire. So we'll see how it goes. So Registeel into Gengar. Again... These these uh, battles are in the he said two thousand to twenty three hundred range. Uh, this will hurt. So like shadow ball from this from Gengar is gonna be really <laughs> hard hitting. Um, and unfortunately, lock on is not doing much. And you're obviously this will one shot. But if they were smart, they would shield and just deal with it. And you are not gonna let them just uh, dominate like that again. This is gonna hurt. You might want to shield the shadow ball. Yeah. This uh, just a punch. That's unfortunate. Uh, but you do get a move off, so you're likely to get a shield back or take them out because this thing is super glassy. But at this point, they're just going to get another move off, and now you need to commit the shield again if you want to get this out of here. Again, they bait punch. I would throw this immediately. Ooh, good hold up because they tried. They would have caught right on thing. So um, smart, not going. Everything's resisted, so you got to try and get to the stig. Hope that hope that a resisted zap cannon doesn't take you out. It probably still does like fifty percent. Oh, focus blast, not as good, or just none of them we're gonna take out anyways. So you will take this out, which is great. They're gonna probably come back in with the uh, Gengar and just oh, they don't. Uh, but it's a fire Pokemon. Forcing. The Dragon Claw, but now you're probably just gonna get outpaced, anyways. Are you okay? Um, and this is probably a Blast Burn. Um, just for those who submit uh, battles, the Blast Burn is gonna take you out. Yeah, that's just being double to fire. Now, what you do? Uh, I will actually just mention this. I put the, the video say the other, but I won't. Like, if you get messages and stuff, I won't delete them. So if you're worried about um, there's two things. One, you should probably play with your do not disturb on because that will stop the messages from going down and it will stop from the game um, being interrupted. And two, um, if you don't want those on the video, you probably might want to do that. But just for other people, because I had a couple people saying like, oh, can you hide these from me? I was like, no, not really. <laughs> so I just don't showcase them. Uh, bad lead-ish. Uh, bad swap here. Do land the dig. But these powder snows are double super effective. These weather balls double super effective. You're just going to go down here. So it's worth coming in to the Reggie. Um, just taking these resist moves. Try and over farm. The problem with Reggie is that there's no such thing as like a real over farm. Because they're both like nukes. So even getting to 100 energy is not going to give you much of an over farm for the next round. That's kind of one of the drawbacks of Reggie. And that's why I don't really like it. Because you still have a ton to go before you get to the move here. And it is a Quagsire. Uh, I don't, unless you catch a Mud Bomb, that would be nice. But if you just catch an Aqua Tail, oh, you do catch, oh, well, no, actually, you're not flying. You're not a, I don't know why I thought you were flying for a sec. That's a, probably a Psycho Boost or Rock Slide. I would worth, yeah, worth the shield. Just a Psycho Boost, which is really interesting to go Psycho Boost right away, unless they're just like grabbing a shield and sacrificing this. Um, Uh, yeah, I feel like Psycho Boost would... Oh, it's a Thunderbolt. Okay. Um, 
now this will take it out or they may double shield but now you get into the reggie get the zap cannon off so nice combo here hopefully zap cannon is enough to take the defense deoxys from 50 percent health i was about to say should be but one hp quagsire is going to get the mud bomb off they threw pretty fast like if i were them i would have farmed up a bit more uh mud bomb enough take out a reggie and now question is well yeah they're gonna outpace you so rough start here o2 um but in terms of gameplay i don't think there was like a ton different so bad lead uh uh coming in where you're just gonna get super effective already behind on energy is not something that's ideal here um like i don't know why they're giving up switch here maybe they know that you have no answer and they're just going to sacrifice this and then just go two shield swamper okay i don't know what they're doing because they had you like I, I maybe if they have like two like a razor leafer and charm user in the back or something then maybe they're worried about the registeel seeing those so they're going to sacrifice these pokemon to a certain extent um but but you don't get the pressure this is i hate i hate using reggie um I mean, it's amazing in the Ultra League. Someone called me out for that. Someone's like, why do you say you hate using Reggie and use it in the Ultra League? Because it's amazing in the Ultra League. I still hate using it. Uh, so bank that energy. Out comes a Hypno, which is an interesting decision when you're down energy and no shields to a ghost Pokemon that can close to one shot. Uh, maybe your fast move timing there hurts you a little bit. You got to throw on the odd ones. One, three, five, seven, not on even ones throw here won't be enough to take out you do have a move banked if they're smart oh it does take out it's a shadow swampert and just a shadow swampert is so glassy okay galvantula so pretty good lead like discharge well is it though because Vol volswitch and discharge are neutral and everything you have is resisted so maybe it's not a good matchup because one move will not take them out, but the Volt Switches and Discharges, two moves will take you out. So you're probably, you're already at 100 energy. Oh, you're catching there. I was like, what are you doing? You're already at 100 energy throw. But doing it so they you catch the move right there. So that's very nice. One more I throw here. Yep. Okay. So far, so good. This is so far well played. Nice catch. Nice timing there to get that move off. They're likely to lunge you, but everything's resisted. So I'm fine just taking the move. Um, one more and throw. Yeah, okay. I see you. I don't think it's enough to take out after the lunge. And they double shield. And you're going to shield back to tr try and keep switch is my only guess. Because otherwise you would not shield. There's no point of saving this when it's already two times lowered attack. But my guess is you really just want to try and see keep sh switch. Um, so you get off or they're like double weak in the back. They, maybe you'll get another move up. But two times lower, this is not going to do much. It's going to do like yeah, less than 50. And uh, nice combo snipe there. Recognizing that switch clock was up and you had the move banked. Take it out and they are double weak. Um, yeah, right? Because they're weak to, they're a triple weak to Gengar or uh, Gligar essentially because poison resisted here and then super effective on the uh on the uh fighter so what are we seeing in the remix gligar should be banned that is essentially what we are seeing but we already knew that um shield advantage just come here and yeah okay bad lead uh staying trying to catch a dig okay I'm going to stop right here and say what I said with other people again. You're in the 2000 to 2300 range and you said don't talk about my crap gameplay. But what I've seen is now multiple catches and um, good fast move timing on the on that Gligar Galvancho match. Again, it's easy to do it on the odd ones 135. So what is this just the state of GBL now that even in the 2000 range, I got to worry about people catching properly and optimizing for the most part properly. Like, come on, what is happening here? Is this everyone just, I guess 
there's already a couple I'm sorry I'm just gonna stop here and just actually talk about this because there was a couple um, suggestions as to why this is the case um, and the first one is is that there's just so many content creators now and that we're all doing fast move optimization and and all these learning things um, that it's easy to understand get this information and learn if you were seeking it out that's the first thing the second option that someone says, and I also think it's true, is, again, I think both of these can be true, is that those who are still playing GBL, like we're in what, the 18th season, 19th season, those who are actually still sticking around to GBL are the ones who generally like it and are generally going to be tryhards, right? You're not, you're not going to have many people playing who don't care about the game anymore um, or who aren't going to put the time and effort into it. Right. So for the most part, everyone who's playing like we've lost those people over the last like 18, 19 seasons. So what's probably left are just the tryhards who know what they're doing. So is the competition getting better? Maybe. Or maybe it's the fact that we've just weeded out a lot of the not so great people over time who are just playing like casually and not doing anything now. And the only people who are still left are the ones who are somewhat taking it seriously and putting in a little bit of time to at least try and get better. Right. So. It could be both, could be, I don't know. I don't know. So getting the aerial ace off here. Um, they may outpace you or you're gonna outpace them. You're gonna outpace them, get the move off. That's your IVs are crazy too. Your IVs are bad, but Registeel, I understand. Gligar and Frostlast, I don't understand, but this is coming from a guy with like a Mantine's IV that looks exactly the same, so I cannot talk too much. Um interesting shield to try and take switch here and interesting shield back to not allow you to take switch what what did i just see and why are you coming why are you not coming and why what are we doing here you okay now you can lock on down and come out with energy um it's a fair thorn so this will just uh i don't know if it'll one shot it's gonna really hurt though yeah and they eat it and then they come polyrath counters resisted so they got to throw skull you're gonna throw sh so it's the resisted fast moves with neutral charge moves getting the shadow ball off will hurt um skull will hurt too but at this point you could just um throw powder snow because you do not need anything more than that so i would throw powder snow sorry avalanche throw the avalanche Maybe you'll get bullet seed down, but does that even matter when they cannot really throw everything anything at the Reggie? I don't think so. No, it will not matter. So Dragonair, generally a good lead, but again, not as good as you think it should be, considering that the Dragon Breath the main damage is resisted. The amount of chip that this Dragonair will do against you is far more than you would expect. I should stop shaking my legs. I'm shaking my legs a lot and the whole table is shaking and the microphone shaking, so sorry if you picked any of that up. Um, focus blast. Uh, I don't know about this, especially with an aqua tail. I think you just play the Reggie matchup out. I don't see, I don't see a point of getting out of what is a very, very good matchup resisting the dragon breath to come into a Pokemon that has to shield a super effective charge move. Like, I, I don't understand the logic behind that. Um, and I don't even know if a dig would take out a non shadow, so I don't know if they're gonna shield. Yeah. And now they're going to get to potentially another move. Yeah. You really gave up a lot in the lead here. And they may have, especially with the Dragon Breath user, they may have like a, maybe not a counter user because that would be double weak to fairy, but they could have a ground in the back or a second dragon. Are we doing a triple dragon mean team? So get this. Again, it will hurt. And now my question is, what is the back? Because I'm starting to worry that this is just a fast move team. So it's a Tentacruel. So the good news is you resisted both of the poisons on both Pokemon. They shield, uh, they don't shield. Scald will hurt, it won't take you out. So you'll get to a move, but then they could potentially farm down here. Ooh, Acid Spray, okay, that's interesting. Um, getting to the Focus Blast just because, I mean, this will one shot no matter what and you expect a shield and you wanna just get to the faster move here. So that makes sense. If they get to the Scald here, this will take you out. And now the question is, can you farm down? 
do you have to uh i was about to say you have to kind of try because i feel like if you don't come out with some energy you're in trouble and it's just an acid spray so you get to the charge move and this probably should one shot super effective from a frost last hits very hard yeah so you had to commit to the farm down there a bomb of snow great lead for you they get out into gligar what are you doing my man okay sorry sorry that was aggressive and i saw you say don't yell at me <laughs> my bad <laughs> but if you have a pokemon that does double super effective on a ground flying um come in with that pokemon and not the pokemon that's behind on energy in a mirror match now take my tone and make it polite and say it back to you there we go constructive criticism not a wtf are you doing so get to the move these 14 attack ivs coming in real clutch here um again you could you're gonna fight for switch just to try and keep the reggie on the lead here but are they not ahead on energy could they not throw here yeah so you're gonna lose switch anyways so i think you probably should have just let the last one go and like farm down with the shield advantage and they give up switch why would they give up switch knowing what they're just gonna get locked into on the back here I mean, sh and shadow energy balls do hurt, but maybe they're hoping they can get a dig off on this and they can have an answer for the frost last in the back. They're just going to sacrifice this, come in, get a dig off. But how low are they? Yeah, their focus boss range are going to outpace them. Um, they shield. And you're going to shield back because you're reading, like, why are you coming into this matchup and not doing anything? You're going to... Uh, Aerodactyl. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay. Two, two, okay. 2,000 range, right? So let's not read too much into that. Okay. Great lead. They will get out. You don't move. Um, uh, okay. In the future... so. I know here's what happened here's what happened in your mind and here's what should happen in your mind. What happened in your mind was Registeel has such an insane matchup against Ninetales and Gligar is gonna get killed that I'm going to make sure I can keep the Reggie on the Ninetales and I'm just gonna get into the Gligar now because it's basically useless against the Ninetales and I can dig against the um dig against the Steelix. Which isn't a terrible initial thought process. Where there's a sort of problem is, you're lucky that they're running some sort of fang that's resisted too. Um, the problem is, wing attack is resisted, one dig likely not enough to take out. Um, which means that if they were running dragon tail psychic fangs, they would probably be able to flip switch on you. So what I would do is, with resisted dragon tails, um, it's a it's a it is a fang move, but in a normal situation where it's resisted dragon tails, I'm probably staying in with the Reggie and throwing a focus blast to either chip this in like an insane amount that basically puts it in like resisted wing attack air lace range or grab a shield, which then makes it easier to Gligar just to like dig up a shield advantage. Like that's how I would play it as opposed to here where you're like, you're lucky that again, you're lucky that they're running a Fang, which is probably slower energy. Is this slower energy? I don't know the stats of the Fangs versus that. Um, um, that you'll probably just be able to you can just aerial ace from here because it's so low or you can f try and farm down but that's aggressive yeah so just aerial ace here you do keep the alignment down a shield but you keep it and you'll get a dig off here too so get that dig off you're only going to get one move let's do it if they're smart they just let this go and just go two shield whatever in the back though uh, yeah, and that's exactly what's going to happen. And now Quagsire is just probably going to outpace you. That's just an Aqua Tail, so you let this go. They've got to at least fake the Stone Edge. Um, you went for the CMP so they don't get the extra fast move. Smart thinking. They shield. Um, I'm probably letting this go. Hoping I can get to a second Avalanche to 
I'm throwing right on four as well, and that's exactly where you're getting. And they get to go for the extra fast move because they kind of recognize that they're going to lose CMP. And now they can just farm. Um, that's okay. You grab two shields. What do they have in the front again? Nine tails, which is useless. So you got to shield up one. Are you out of shields? What happened? Just an awkward tail. Um, I would be th using one of these shields. Your game is lagging like crazy. That's what's happening. Um, yeah, I would be th using one of these shields, and it's a mud bomb. So that's a nice time to use a shield because the nine tails is useless. So against your Reggie. So just get this out of here. Use your shields enough to take it out. Um, even a super, not a super effective, but like a shadow dazzling gleam is not going to take you out from this range. Psy shock, even worse. Um, so you should easily take this matchup despite your weak connection all over the place here. So you'll take it out there. Okay. Um, yeah, this is a good lead. Hydras will hurt. You're going to shield out the first one. Interesting. You have two super effective moves. Um, and I know you can just go zap cannon and, and this will take out and if the shield potentially lower their attack. So I get the first shield. Um, you did get the attack fall. And committing the two shields is really uh, interesting here. I know you're just going to try and do it again. And hopefully you lower their attack again and then one shot them on the back end when you live this hydro. So I get the idea of it. Can they get to a fourth hydro before you get to the third move here is my question. And I maybe yes. N yeah, CMP. I was about to say, this is spammy enough to do that. Um, and now you got to come in here. And now you're so far behind. So you catch a hydro cannon. It's still going to hurt a lot though. Um, out comes the Polyrath because they know they are essentially useless against the Gligar. So the question is, how much are they going to farm here? Because Powderstone is resisted, so if they're smart, they go like three or four. Yeah, so they, they did farm up a little bit. They'll get the Icy Wind off. Now the question is, can you farm down? Oh yeah, I guess Icy Wind is resisted, but uh, yeah, uh, yeah, double super effective Icy Wind. I know what you're, you had to kind of try. You're screwed though. Um, I get it. You kind of had to try because you needed the dig coming out for the Empoleon. But yeah, that was tough. Um, so <laughs> someone like quoted me for being savage in one of my other videos where I said, you have moments of brilliance hidden behind everything else here. And then <laughs> you honestly, for a 2000 to 2100 ELO range, you had a lot of good mixed in with the bad so it's not it's not like your like some 2000 to 2000 2100 range that i get is just like they're like clearly new and making like constant mistakes but you have definitely some sort of like at least strong skill basis in catching and timing for the most part i think where you struggle is I mean, there's a couple inexcusable things, and I don't know if it was just like you didn't focus or something like when they go into Gligar and then you come in behind energy instead of coming into a double super effective. Like, that's just a very obvious one. Um, but I think your biggest weakness just watching those battles was your um, ability to figure out what to do against the switch honestly because all the times that they switched into something you like i don't know if you like freak out or something but you your brain's delayed a little bit not like sorry i should rephrase that like my my grade 10 english teacher said it takes the brain like 10 to 15 seconds to like process information and spit out something like intelligence. So he always used to be like, I will never put you on the spot and be like, call on you be like, what's the answer to this? Answer me right now. 
because he's like your brain doesn't work like that your brain needs like five to ten seconds to like process what is being asked and respond and some of these decisions i think you're in the processing is not happening it's, it's happening at like what should be a normal speed for humans but this game is so fast so i think the difference between and why i say that because i think the difference between the elite players and players like you is the elite players have played so many times and know all the ins and outs of the different matchups that their brain doesn't need to take those five seconds to register what's happening, right? Um, so like you kind of like instant swap the Gligar into the Steelix. I'm like, well, that's probably not the ideal moveset. That's probably not what you want to do because now you like, but I think an elite like person who's gone through those matches a million times be like, okay, they're coming in here. I know the best option is to like focus blast and then go here. Not because my brain is processing this faster than you, um, it's because we've played this matchup so many times and can already see where we need to go in all these different matchups. And I think that's the main difference between like a newer player or a player with less experience and those who have played 50,000 battles and have played these matchups hundreds of times that we kind of know like it's not, it's not like our brain processing the information faster. It's just like we we it's just, it's just like stuck there. We, we already know what to do because we've done this so many times sort of thing, if that makes sense. Um, so thank you for this mission. Um, appreciate it. Appreciate all these. And I pumped out two videos. <laughs> so I basically just pumped out six videos in 24 hours, got home 10 o'clock, um, 10 o'clock on Monday night. And I pumped out two there and I've pumped out four on Tuesday. So I've got all my Wednesday and with Thursday videos done. And then we'll do a, I think it is a, it's, it's definitely a repeat remix. I know that for sure because I remembered looking at that and being like, okay, I have time to, because I'm pretty sure it is Master League and then the remix next week, which means it's just remix for us. Yeah, Master League, Great League remix. Okay. Uh, which means it's just remix for us next week, pretty much. Although I do have two Hundo Necrozmas. Oh, I got to showcase that off. Maybe, okay, that's what I'll do in the Master League. I'm so... <laughs> Okay. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you're new here and you stayed till the end and you like what you saw, hit that subscribe button. Um, I put out the video for GoFest my day one saying, I got two hundo necrozmas. And one of the comments was, title, I got two hundred necrozmas. Video does not show the hundo necrozmas. And I'm just like, uh, you're so right. Because what happened was um, at like 1.32 o'clock, um, on the day one, I shot a video um, where I went over all the shinies and the hundos that I got from the raids, but then like brain fart forgot to like put that in the video. So I'm like, yeah, I definitely, I definitely got you on under Christmas. I'm definitely going to showcase this. And then I actually forgot to put in the video. So if I do play Master League because I have these Necrozmas, um, I will show you that i have the 200 necrozmas i don't have enough excels I, I i have enough excels for one i think i'm at like maybe four to five hundred excels overall um, so i won't have enough to do both but i will have enough to do one for sure um and at, with global go fest this weekend maybe I'll, do, I'll grab more excels this weekend so maybe i'll, I'll maybe i'll should, we'll have enough after this weekend anyways that's enough talking appreciate the support and i'll see you guys in the next one